Let's do this. So if you know me, I have grown up my hair for about a year now and it's super long. And super beautiful. But the first thing I noticed that the ring light is in her glasses and I have the same problem. Look, I love my glass. The only negative thing is if you walk in the rain that the rain drops on your glass or it's cold and you come inside, it's you don't see anything. But for the rest, I like my glasses. But look at her hair. Such a long, beautiful hair. And she's going to mess with it. I'm honestly just kind of tired of it. I'm kind of sick of it. I know I just did that video about how to grow your hair long, but I just don't want to have long hair anymore. Here's the thing. If you have long hair and have a boyfriend, it sucks because he's always laying on it and pulling it by accident. I'm always leaning on my own hair and it hurts because I'm always pulling it and I'm honestly just... I'm just sick of styling it. I don't know what that'll do with it anymore. My wife has the same complaints. She has long hair too and sometimes in bed I turn myself and her hair is laying on my pillow and then I turn her and then she says, ah. Oh. I guess every woman with long hair has the same problems. My hair is super fast. I used to cut it all the time on my shoulder and that's like where I had it. I haven't had like short hair like that since like about 2016, 2017. So about two, three years now. And so I honestly don't remember how does that have that short of hair. I don't even remember it being that short. I just want to have short hair for a while. Well, it's not short, short, short if it's like that. If you have short hair and you let it grow and it's like this, you say, I have long hair. But if you have long hair like this and you cut it up like that, then you have short hair. So you see, it's a mind twist. Is it short? Is it long? It's depending where you're coming from. And please don't do the ponytail technique. I'm so sick of it. So this is what my hair looks like right now. Super long. I have it curled slash waved, whatever you want to call this from yesterday. Really contemplating. I was like, should I wet my hair? Because then it would be easier to like clean up and like keep together. And I don't know. You should. And I'm thinking about to say, make your hair wet. Because in the past I said, wetten your hair. And I have some comments that that is not a correct way to say it but it's because I'm Dutch speaking and if I'm translating it in my head, I, I'm learning, I'm still learning, I'm learning every day and I hope I will learn for the rest of my life. So it's make your hair wet and not wet. So I'm improving. I wanna be, tomorrow I wanna be a better person than today. Like every Instagrammer has short ass hair right now. I see Instagrammers with long hair. It's just, where you put your focus on. Thing is though, they don't have bangs. I'm gonna have to make a video on trying to style short ass hair with bangs. Why are you styling your hair? You need to make your hair wet because cutting hair needs to be wet. I know there are some hairdressers that are cutting hair on dry hair, but you need to be trained by that. It's not easy to cut hair on dry hair. So it's easier on wet hair. Okay, is this straight enough to my shoulders? I feel like it is. What do you guys think? Straight enough? You can't respond, I don't know why the fuck I'm asking you. So, a lot of people I watch do this, take hair ties and they like, hair tie off their hair and then cut it, which I feel is like what you're supposed to do with long hair. I'm gonna try the hair tie technique. Oh fuck, where do I want this? I wanna get it to that like shoulder length that's super cute, but I feel like I need to get a little longer like add a little bit of length to it first i also have my glasses on while i'm doing this for the people way in the back way in the back because maybe they are sitting very far from me and they have ear problems and they didn't hear me correctly the first 20 times i said it before if you put ponytails in the front you will have a v-shape in the back and not a nice one because sometimes people want a v-shape but it will not be a nice one and especially if you are cutting it on this length. So it will be straight and then in the back, a tip. Because the length of here in the back, the hair here in the back, will take a longer distance to the front. So if you comb that straight, then you have a long pieces. It's just matte. And it was not good in matte, but it's simple matte. I'm actually kind of nervous. Like, I, I never used to get nervous cutting my hair. It'd be like 2 a.m. and I'd be like, chop. And you see that the hair is just not comb straight. There's a volume in it, so it will not be a straight line. It will be various of, of lines, so it will not be straight. There's so many cute long hairstyles that I've just never done. And I'm never going to do because I suck at doing them on myself. And I just seem, I, I'm just too lazy to do them. 
but like there's so many cute ones like should I not no I'm, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna cut my hair there's no reason for me not to there's absolutely none because I'm never gonna do those hairstyles I'm literally just sounding like Emma fucking Chamberlain right now like, I just <laughs> you can't say I'm sounding like Emma Chamberlain and then take a sip of coffee I think she's a little bit nervous because she's talking very fast now okay we got our uh, trusty dusty kitchen scissors because my actual hair cutting scissors are back in toronto seven hours away from me so kitchen scissors it is told you and i'm too fucking broke to spend eight dollars on actual hair cutting scissors so we're gonna use some kitchen scissors just pull the elastics down and then cut above this will be very short you said before that you want it on the shoulder if you cut it above the elastics it will be shorter than the shoulders how long these are holy <laughs> i've never been sentimental about hair before what is wrong with me <laughs> okay we're just gonna do it we're just gonna cut it i'm very happy that she's not saying it's just head it's just head how many times do i say it's not just head if you don't have nothing wrong with your head or with your health yeah you can say it's just hair but there's so many people that are losing their head off Cancer, chemotherapy, alopecia, you name it. For them, it's not just hair. So pay a little attention, have some respect for hair. Don't say it's just hair, please. Anyone else nervous? <laughs> we are just gonna cut it, okay? It's cutting. <laughs> oh my God, I'm doing this blind. Why am I doing this blind? This is a bad idea. You have a lot of hair and you put it in two ponytails so the section is really thick. These scissors are not cutting good. So, and you are pulling this, the, the, the ponytail. Oh, so many things go wrong. It's gonna be so fucking raw. I feel like the hair tie is moving and I'm not cutting this straight at all. Oh my god, this is so rough. Oh my god. <laughs> You can already see that she's cutting in a concave, in, in a round shape. So this will never be straight. It can be. <laughs> this is so uneven. <laughs> a little bit left, fuck it. Okay. That is the most uneven shit I've ever seen in my life. I have never seen a ponytail cut it off very straight. Never, never, never. Even with good scissors, you cannot do that. You cannot. That's sad. Fuck. Wow. Okay, well. You see the band here, all these different layers. You need to trim that. You need to work that evenly. Otherwise, it will be ugly. Except if you do it in curls, then you will not see it. Well, the length is good for you. That That's a very good thing for your face. The length is very good. No, not happening. Okay. I'm doing this, it's fine. It's totally cool. Totally fine. Totally fine. I feel like everyone else, it was like snip and it was gone. I'm like fucking hacking at my hair here. It's not. I have never seen somebody who is snipping it and it's gone. Or you will have very, 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 very fine hair. This is so bad. <laughs> I'm not even looking at what I'm doing, honestly. It's just bad. Oh no. Oh no. I look like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> That's weird. I have never been able to do that in so long. Look at the little flip in the back. Oh wow. And even this is. I can't even tell because it's flipping. You see up that the back. long piece in the back? Always. It's impossible to not have that long piece if you put it in two ponytails. It's just a fact. And yes, of course, you can do it in four ponytails, but still it will not be even. This feels so weird. <laughs> Look at the strand. What you doing there, bud? Oh my, did I just throw in my iced coffee? No, we're good, we're fine. Now I think that's a right guy, right now. It's not the worst, I mean, almost any of that. Good point. I don't know how I'm supposed to like actually Fix this, this may be even. Oh, it's like flipping up on the ends. I'm having a crisis here. Why is it flipping up? First of all, maybe it's pressing on your shoulder. That's the first thing. But if the top layer is a little bit shorter than the 
layer that is coming underneath, then the tips will flip. Actually, we always cut like two or three millimeters, not longer, just a little bit. The top layer is going a little bit longer than the first layer that we are cutting. So we cut the first layer and then the last layer we cut a little bit longer. So the tips are bending inside. That's the magic of a good haircut. But she's has the, has the opposite, so it will flip out. See, this is what I wanted to be able to do. Oh my God, it's so cute though. At the same time, I love it. My cute Instagram girl now. I feel like it hasn't happened yet and I'm still trying to process. I'm in like shock right now. What do I even do with this? Do I donate this? Can you just donate this? Yes, you can donate because it's beautiful hair. It's like, this is, a, this is enough hair to like literally make another hair, head of hair. Tell me down below guys, if you know anywhere like I can send this or something. I don't know how this works. How did I get hair over there? Well, I don't know how to, this bottom piece here just, just seems way too long. We should have just wiped out when we had the chance. Was... She rough in the back. It needs to get a lot cut off the back here. I'm tie up the top part. I'm acting like I've never cut my hair before. Fuck. I found an emergency hair tie in my little electronics bag. Tie up the top. This part is definitely too long. This side's definitely longer. That's the way you do it. Meet her off maybe. So we're gonna use this as like our little measurement thing. What are you doing now? You're going to even it out, but please, can you not call somebody to help you? It's been like the next week finding hair that needs to be like trimmed. There's hair all over my tits. There's like a bunch of little hairs though that are just not cooperating. Okay, let's chop off some more hair. I found about a centimeter off everything. The phone is literally covered, but still not in my iced coffee. Everyone that loves my long hair is probably crying right now. Do a little bit more snipping. I think the biggest problem is the back. How are you going to do that? This side was definitely longer, so I'm gonna have to cut off this side. So much longer. I keep making my boyfriend walk around downstairs and it's like stressing me out that he's gonna come up here. I'm about to be like, go the fuck away because I'm trying to surprise you. This shit's way too long. Maybe call him. Ask him to do the back. Mm -hmm. It will be way better than messing yourself. I feel like the sides are like pretty good, but the sides just too long. Here we go, let's hack at it. It's kind of satisfying. Just keep cutting. Just like hacking at your hair. It's going shorter and shorter and shorter. Let's let's flip around and see again. So it's definitely longer. If you don't watch out, you will end up with a length like this. I know you guys can see what I'm cutting, but I have no clue. Not bad. Okay, I think we're doing okay. It's probably a normal like shit on camera. When I look back at this footage and be like, fuck. You don't say. That's, that's the fun of it. Should I like curl it or something? There's like a lot of hair in here. If you made any mistake with coloring, like you have spots or cutting that it's uneven, make curls in your hair and it will be less obvious. Of course, if it's short, it's not working. It's a way to disguise the mistakes that you made. Uh, I'm Instagram or yet. The side's like always way wavier. Like the side is not flipping up like that at the end. The side's like cute, the side's not. This sucks. Burn all of this brand new, like freshly cut hair to shit. This looks dumb. Looks really dumb now. Should have just left it straight, honestly. Okay, well, this is what I've done. The side goes and this side is just cute. Why? Why is the side cute? It always takes some time to style to learn how to style your freshly cut hair after a week it starts making their own process because now it's just freshly cut it and some hair needs to be in a natural state and sometimes it's just like after one or two washes that it's falling very natural but the length is really 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 good for you really i really like the length if you have this kind of thick hair and you cut it all in the same length then you have some kind of pyramid. It will be very thick here. So maybe slice it up a little bit, but to do it by yourself, it's really difficult to, to make sure that the weight here is not too thick. So maybe not too much layers. I don't say layer, layer, layers, but the thickness should be removed a little bit. But for the rest, the length is good, but the way you cut it, it could be a lot more better. So cutting the ponytail technique, 
please don't do that again. Press one of these videos to see more hair fills and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have you been made by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Ciao, kiss.